Back in 2015, a group of doctors brought the concussion debate into the spotlight by campaigning to ban full contact rugby for anyone under the age of 18. Now, if you follow me round here, you can see that over 200 new houses have been built. Now, in this clip, you can see he lines his head up on the right side of the player. So I'm here at Northampton Winter Food Festival, my two tasters for the day, and we're going to be trying anything we can get our hands on. Thankfully, Will's made a full recovery, but the complexity of this disease is still very high and there has been limited research into it, meaning treatment and care for Alabama rot can be difficult and costly. I'm working alongside the Herald and Post to bring you your weekly slice of football pie. So coming up in this show we discuss if pre-season really matters, Ollie will have given us his weekly snippet of Cobbler's News and we look at players to keep an eye on in League One this coming season. Good afternoon, I'm Charlie Atkinson and here are your four o'clock headlines. A policeman on trial for rape and sexual assault of a 17-year-old girl has been found not guilty. A seventh person is charged with the murder of Liam Hunt and demolition works have begun on a football ground in Northampton. And in sport, we're hours away from kickoff as Northampton Town host Oldham Athletic at Sixfields this evening. Sniffer dogs in Northamptonshire have discovered almost 2,500 packets of illegal cigarettes as well as 134 pouches of illegal hand rolling tobacco. That's all from me, thank you for watching.